the general understanding is that uh, cities in, in or the, our urban environment develops in layers. There's a kind of agglomeration of different layers. So each period of time adds a kind of layer to the city. Right? If we look at Boston, if we look at New York, if we look at European cities, Paris, right? They, they are an accumulation of different layers and different times. So if we talk about uh, the suburbs or the ex-urban areas, they are understood as a first layer of, uh, of a built environment. So the question that we're asking, if, if we understand these areas to be a form of a city, a kind of the dispersed city, what would be kind of the next layer? So the question is, where do we intensify? Why? How do we involve uh, infrastructure, existing infrastructure? How do we create a sense of community? Uh, how do we introduce uh, a less wasteful, uh, in terms of energy, environment, right? How do we introduce more productive practices? How do we um, accommodate our changing habits of live work within these environments? This is why I'm at MIT. I mean, <laughs> this is why this place has a potential because we can collaborate with engineers, uh, with energy, with uh, economists, with policy people, uh, with transportation. We could kind of form a comprehensive group that would address all the issues that make up a city or an urban environment and not, and not just deal with the design as kind of an isolated vision. That's the big advantage because many people are working on different aspects of technology but also of the environment. And can all these be brought together, right? Can we create energy? Can we work on energy systems that are not reliant on a centralized system? It's a, it's a complete cultural transformation, right? Uh, of, of relying on the city as a center and working within a dispersed kind of uh, network. So in terms of energy, in terms of transportation, in terms of soft infrastructure, not hard infrastructure. In terms of economics, how do we work on models that, that work with sharing or with uh, other forms of, of, um, of financing and not just our conventional forms, which are, again, uh, structured in order to allow this kind of segregated, separated life, that you have to own everything, right? So how can we talk about access? How can we talk about sharing? How can we translate that uh, through, through the built environment, through the, urban, through the urban project? So my primary I look at the, at the physical urban project uh, as a design project, which, again, it, it goes back to this idea that it's not uh, where my interests are is not to solve problems, but to provide visions. Uh, and to use design to create a sense, a desire, let's say, or to fulfill a desire to be part of a, a certain community or a certain um, neighborhood.